Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is Julie here with your TipRank's pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. We'll be covering exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, as well as the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you subscribe to the channel as well. All right, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. We had the Dow futures up 0.11 percent, S&P 500 futures up 0.14 percent, and Nasdaq futures currently up 0.16 percent. Fubo TV has announced that they've signed a market access agreement to offer their sportsbook service in Pennsylvania. This is through a deal with the Cordish Company, a provider of statewide mobile access for both sports betting and iGaming. The deal brings Fubo Sportsbook to a minimum of four states, including the previously announced deals with New Jersey, Indiana, and Iowa. The service is expected to launch in the fourth quarter of this year, subject to regulatory approvals. By adding the thrill of live streaming to the betting experience on one app, Fubo TV is expected to attract more fans compared to competitors like DraftKings, which only operates a wagering platform. Analysts rate the Fubo TV stock a strong buy with an average upside potential of 51%. Nikola announced the addition of five dealers with 51 locations across nine different states. The move is aimed at increasing its nationwide Class 8 truck sales and service coverage. The company is in the process of ramping up their distribution network. As the first step to its expansion, Nikola partnered with Rig360 Service Network in April to provide sales and service products for commercial customers at more than 65 of its dealer locations. The addition of these five independent dealers is the second phase of its plan and is expected to bring Nikola's nationwide sales and service locations to a total of 116. Analysts rate the Nikola stock a hold with an upside of just 1.6%. Tech giant IBM has announced that they're acquiring data solutions services provider BlueTab. With data analytics gaining significance daily, this buyout is expected to strengthen IBM's foothold in the data management space and further enhance their offerings. Their senior VP said that our acquisition of BlueTab will fuel migration to the cloud and help our clients to realize even more value from their mission-critical data. Analysts rate the IBM stock a moderate buy with an average upside potential of 8%. Ping Identity has entered into a partnership with digital business solutions provider Annexinet. The partnership will involve the combination of Ping's identity access management and Annexinet's cybersecurity capabilities to offer customers a complete data security system. The VP of Channel Sales at Ping said that we're excited to partner with Annexinet to tackle the robust security challenges organizations face today and further improve the identity experience for all customers within our ecosystem. Their stock comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside of 40%. Paint company PPG Industries has announced a dividend hike. Their next quarterly dividend will be 59 cents per share, which is a hike of 9.3% from their previous dividend. This will be paid on September 10th of, to shareholders of record as of August 10th. Their CEO said that this 50-year milestone of annual dividend increases has been achieved by a very limited group of companies and is a true testament to our company's legacy of consistently rewarding our shareholders. The increase is also a reflection of the strong confidence that PPG's board and management team have in our ability to continue to generate and grow our operating cash flow. Their stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside just over 10%. Now let's take a look at some notable earnings reports. We recently heard from Morgan Stanley, who reported impressive second quarter results. Their net income came in at $3.5 billion, or $1.85 per share, which was above the consensus estimates of $1.65 per share. Net revenue came in at $14.8 billion compared to $13.7 billion in the same period last year and above consensus estimates of $13.96 billion. Their revenue and earnings growth affirm strong performance and contributions across Morgan Stanley's core business segments and geographies. Analysts rate their stock a strong buy with an average upside just shy of 9%. We also heard from U.S. Bancorp, who also had better-than-expected second-quarter results. 
The bank reported adjusted earnings of $1.28 per share, beating analyst expectations of $1.14 per share. Their revenues of $5.78 billion exceeded estimates of $5.62 billion. Their net interest income came at $3.16 billion, up 2.4% sequentially. The beat was driven by robust performances across all segments and improved credit quality aided by the economic recovery. Analysts rate their stock a strong buy, with an average upside just over 12%. The rest of today remains fairly quiet for earnings. Next week, we still have a big lineup to look forward to, hearing from some companies like Netflix and Johnson & Johnson. So let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by TD Holdings. Trading under the ticker GLG, they're currently up 28%. They're followed by Ion Geophysical under IO, currently up nearly 27%. And FSD Pharma under the ticker HUGE, they're currently up over 7%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Fibrogen. Under the ticker FGEN, they're currently down 32%, followed by the Liquid Media Group under YVR, currently down nearly 13%, but this is following a gain of 65% yesterday. And Neptune Wellness Solutions under NEPT, currently down just over 11%. So that is everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, bringing you up to speed before that opening bell. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. You know I always love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to stop by at 11.30 Central Standard Time for Richard Allen and I's live stream of our weekly recap where we'll discuss what's been going on throughout the week and our opinions on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you back here next time.